We have a couple of packages to open. Uh, one of them in particular is something that um, I'm really dying to get uh, measured up, shall we say. And let's dive into it. Do away with these for the moment. Concentrate on this box first. Schneider. Schneider Electric is, uh, is what we're saying on here there. So you've got a pretty good idea now as to what this is. Uh. Oh yes sir! Oh, oh my goodness me! Look onto it. The key close the panel up with oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> beautiful So this is going to be the new version of that, this big monstrosity here, which is actually quite stupidly massive, but it had to be because we were using all the wrong switches, um, but the size of which needed to be accommodated, so it's just all too big and it's not the thing to be having. This, however, is the proper enclosure that um, is going to uh, house all the new switches, the new Inkbird uh, PIDs, uh, all the lights, all the alarms, all the buzzers, all the switches. Everything is going to be mounted in here. Nice and small, it's a lot smaller. I'll show you a comparison with it next to it in a minute. But the dimensions of this are 300mm uh, wide. 400 mil tall and 200 mil deep. Yes, I'm quite impressed with that. Quite impressed with that. That's going to make a much tidier version of that behind it. So this is a Schneider, and uh, it was 70 pound in total. Everything, including. Taxes and postage. I was struggling to find something, and um, Robbie put me onto. Uh, I put. I put it somewhere. I think RS RS components long enough in height to get everything on the control panel to run the brewery, and then right at the bottom, um, you're going to be having the fermentation SDC 1000 on the bottom, and I'm wanting that. Uh, STC to be running non-stop obviously uh, but also have the ability to use a turnkey to power just the brewery side when we wire it up but that's the box fellas it's the proper deal the proper deal obviously we're going to be cutting holes in it which is another thing that uh, both Robbie and Harry said good luck with that and uh, I think Harry's forgetting that I know a friend which is Harry when I mark it out, I'll, I'll go down to Harry's and we'll use the plasma cutter. I says, well, I know someone with a plasma cutter, Harry. He was like, oh, yeah, bring it down. So we'll be able to blast the holes that we need in this door, no problem whatsoever, uh, instead of drilling them out and trying to cut them out uh, without a plasma cutter. Right, so I have a couple more boxes. That's the panel. Oh, she's a beast. This is 
the heat fin which is going to be sat on top of the control panel so effectively uh, this is going to draw the heat out of the um, SSRs and 50mm fins dissipate the heat which is a big one look at this look it came like that it came with a big dint on it I'm not it, not that fussed about sending it back but the box is fine so it obviously got packaged like that you sons of bitches but that is going to be replacing them them tiny little tiny little fins there for the uh, what do they call them heat fins that's what we're running at the minute one on each tiny tiny little things well this time we're going big and we're having this on the outside so if I get rid of this box this will be mounted on top like I like so to draw the heat from the uh, solid state relays and then just let it dissipate into the brewery ah oh, she's looking friggin neat fellas she's looking good last but not least we have two of the solid state uh, relays and I need I need a third one if I plan on doing the, the pump, automatic pump I don't know yet but we'll just have a couple of them ready to uh, ready to be installed friggin racks well that's it fellas, that's my cave in the big boxes I ain't gonna spin it any other way this is what we should have had from the very very beginning before uh, before I put this together but I think at the time of building this I was a little bit green uh, to electric brewing I think when I just realised it needed an enclosure for all the pieces to go on I thought I could knock one up and I did and to be fair it has done me proud up to now but away with this look and then we're going to just be having this on the wall which I think you'll agree will look so much smarter for the new brewery it will match the rest of the equipment when we get it up and running and uh, a smaller footprint and a lot neater on the wall this here the top of the box is going to be cut away we're going to plasma, probably plasma a, a hole out so that the heat sink that fits on top will have space then to uh, attach the um, the SSRs straight to the underside of the heat sink so it hasn't got to get through obviously the top of the box to the heat sink we'll cut enough out the top to allow uh, the SSRs room to fit directly to that so we'll, we'll measure it up when we get going and when we take it to Harry's after marking everything out plasma cut the holes on the door uh, we'll also do the same for the top uh, but yeah I'm, I'm really uh, I'm really glad it's here again massive thanks to Robbie because uh, he chucked me right in the proper direction straight away that'd have been another Oh, God knows, I'd have been days probably searching for something and, uh, and probably ended up hitting eBay and getting something second hand, whereas on that site, uh, RS, RS components, you can pick whatever size you need. So uh, that's, that's what I've gone for, 400 high, 300 wide, 200 deep, it's going to be perfectly big enough to, uh, to build an adequate control panel, right. So I've got the wire, I think I showed you that in the last video. I've got the wire as well to, uh, to wire up the new control panel. So the things that I haven't ordered yet are the switches. The switches that are going to run the pumps and the elements and the um, alarm off. Uh, I've also got to order a reset button and a timer which is uh, you've seen them you've seen them on the old kits same same sort of look as the uh, PIDs just the timer 
Uh, but what I have got coming, already ordered, is the uh, the new Inkbird PIDs and uh, the panel lights and the alarm and buzzer. So they're on the way, the lights, the PIDs. So as soon as everything starts rolling in, of course I will show you all and I'll crack on next ordering the switches. Uh, just want to say a massive thanks for the comments on the last video. I know it was a, it was a while um, in between video uploads, a cracking response, cracking response. And especially people chipping in on the um, automatic pump for the Herms. Uh, just to recap on that, um, I'm glad I put it out there. I'm glad people have, have commented what they did. Brian, uh, he was a little unsure, and I think looking at it without the pump being on, you're going to have wart in that Herms coil that's that's going to be sat there until it clicks the pump on, and then so that wart that's in the uh, Herms that's sat there till the pump's been switched on is going to be obviously hotter. So possibly going to get spiking in temps. Um, really good point actually, I didn't think about that, but it would have been cool, it would have been cool. Maybe we'll, we'll visit it, maybe we will uh, still put a three-way pump, uh, still put a three-way switch in there and then it's there if we want it, if not we can just use it as a normal switch. And I got a comment from someone saying I was trying to reinvent the wheel, I don't need to, you can make perfectly good beer in a bucket. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know that. There are simpler ways to do it, and there are more complicated ways of brewing beer. Now, um, to me, the hobby of brewing beer isn't just the brewing of the beer and, uh, and drinking it. There's much more interest for me in, in the hobby, as well as brewing, but tinkering around with different parts and different bits and bobs, um, and having like a custom a set up design for your own needs by yourself. I don't think it's trying to reinvent the wheel. I think that's it. Yeah, so that was it. Just a quick video to show you what has arrived for the new control panel so far. And of course, when the new bits come in, I'll, uh, I'll chuck a video up. But uh, it's coming very close now, uh, actually, when I think about it. When I look in here at the whole job, it, it looks like there's a lot of work, but when you actually sort of really look into it a little bit closer, it's pretty much all coming together nicely. Uh, but that's it, for, that's, that's it for another video. So, as always, don't forget to follow my pretty kitchen or no. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, click it once, I've been it, something you don't want to say. Well, till next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>